Tidja here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be going through a 40-minute dumbbell hit and volume training workout. For this workout, we're going to go through three cardio hit circuits and then three volume training circuits, and we're going to alternate between the two. For the cardio hit, we're going to go through six exercises for 20 seconds each, and for the volume training, we're going to go through two exercises performed in a superset for five sets each. So that's going to be a total of 10 sets per volume training circuit. If you like this workout, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we've got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm-up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start to work out. Now, our first exercise we're going to go into is a squat with arm raise and calf raise. So feet about shoulder width apart, arms out, drop down in the squat as we come up, arms go up, calf raise, just like that. Here we go, let's get ready. So dropping down, arm raise, calf raise, back down. There we go. Good controlled movements here. We got boxer shuffle coming up next. Let me get my arms up a little bit. I feel like I was cheating those. You can go box or shuffle or just pop in back and forth. If you don't want to do this, you can do alternating calf raises just like that. A low impact option. I might be doing some, some more low impact options or uh, doing the actual low impact options more than usual. We've got chest openers right here. My knee's still giving me a problem from a couple weeks ago at volleyball. I tweaked it a little bit, falling backwards after a block, but. We'll work through the pain. Doesn't mean you can't get some workout in though. Don't forget to breathe here. We got arm swings next. So forwards and backwards on these. Here we go. We're filming in the Strength Depot showroom today. This might be my new film spot for a while. Hope you guys enjoy it. Alternating lateral lunges here, feet out wide, dropping down. Oh yeah, left knee's still a little tender. Just try to work through it. You don't have to do full reps if you can, if you're limited or whatever. Just do what you can. Kind of modify the exercise so you can still get good quality workout without, you know, getting injured. Alternating toe touch kicks here. Also, you might be able to see my beautiful pink dumbbells. Strength Depot just got these in. Those are a uh, Nexo Fitness Equipment brand, fully stocked. They brought them out on the showroom yesterday. And I said, I gotta use those for a workout. So here we are. All right, 20 seconds. We got butt kickers, so we're gonna go into our cardio first. Get the heart rate up. We got six exercises. I believe it's 20 on, 10 off for this. So butt kickers, we're just trying to get our heel up here. Here we go. So just like that, this is high impact, low impact. You're just not jumping. We're not getting that hop. Just like that, you can still kind of stay on your toes, get off the heels a little bit, work those calves if you want. Here we go. Let me see what many I can handle right here. Here we go, we got squat hops coming up. So all we're gonna do is just a nice little pop in the air. Drop down, nice little hop, just like that. Here we go. So just nice little pop, boom. If you can't do this, I want you to get a calf raise. I'm down, up calf raise. So we're still not jumping in there. We're still getting that little bit of calf raise, explosiveness. There we go. All right, we're gonna go into mountain climber. So we're gonna be playing position here. We're just gonna run it out in place. See if I can come over a little bit. Here we go. So we're just running it out in place right here. If you can't do this, you can hold a plank. Another option is to do Spider-Man crunches, which is bring the knee to the elbow. If that's too difficult, you can only drop down to the knees, just like this. A couple options there for you. Try to keep the head up. Here we go. All right, we got power push-ups. We're starting off strong today. So power push-ups. Starting push-up position right here. And explode up, land softly. Explode up, land softly. Notice how I'm not landing like that. I'm coming down 
nice and soft. Explode back up. If you can't do that, just push up as hard as you can. Come down nice and slow. Explode as hard as you can. Down nice and slow. Explode. On our backs, bicycle crunches. Hands behind the head. Alternating opposite knee to elbow here. Boom. Boom. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Feeling that bagel and protein shake I had earlier. Feels like concrete at this point. I usually don't eat before a workout, but today I was really hungry. All right, we're going to be on our butts here. Russian twist. Leaning back a little bit. And tapping, tapping. If you want to use a dumbbell, you can. Just hold it. Kind of tap the ground. Make sure to keep your eyes on where you're going. We don't want to kind of be like this, not moving our upper body. Breathe. If you want to make it a little tougher, lift those feet up. A little easier, sit further up. Here we go. 30 seconds. We're going to go into push-ups or chest press. I'll demonstrate push-ups even though everybody probably knows. Right here. Come down. Up. You can do that on your knees as well. If you want to use your dumbbells, I'm going to grab these bad boys. So for reference, I have 35s, 25s, and 15s today. We're going to be on our backs right here. I like to keep my head down. Pushing up, bring them together, and back. There we go. If you want, you can rotate the hands, palms together, and then bring them together. Squeeze, come back down. There we go. Also, this is our first set of our volume training. If you didn't catch that we had switched, that extended break. So now we're in the volume training. There we go. We're going into rows. I'm just going to keep these 35s. We're going to do double arms. If you want to do singles, you can. Maybe if your lower back's kind of giving you issues, you can do singles. I'll demonstrate that in a second. So right here, back straight, chest out, palms face the legs right here. If you want to do singles, you can be here like that or elbow down. Like that. The goal here, you can probably use a little bit heavier weight and it's going to help out your lower back because it's supported with that free hand. So slide bend in the knees here, hinging at the hips. Back stays nice and straight. I'm going to go for some push ups right here. A couple seconds. Here we go. Dropping down, coming up, down, coming up. If you want to try the push-ups on your toes, but maybe you can't keep going the entire 30-second working time, which you can do, drop down onto the chest, give it a one-two count, push back up. Down, one-two count, push back up. We'll go back into our rows. Moving right along. Here we go. And you get those hips coming up, down, up, squeeze, and down. There we go. Feeling good. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'll do a chest press again. I'll kind of alternate through them. You can pick whichever one you want. If you have a flat bench or an ottoman, at home, that's maybe like a rectangle shape. You could probably do your dumbbell chest press with uh, on that. And that'll kind of allow you to go further down 
with the dumbbells, get that full range of motion. Really stretch out that chest. There we go. Back to rows here. We're on our third set of rows. There we go. Feeling good. There we go. I'm up and down. Up and down. Don't forget to breathe. Oh. Oh. So you should exhale as you pull them up, inhale as you bring them back down. Oh. 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 See one more. Oh. There we go. Back into push ups or chest press, whichever. Starting to feel a nice little pump coming on. Here we go. Come on, keep pushing. I'm down, up, down, up. If you want to try starting on your toes, getting one rep or so, and then after that dropping to the knees for the remainder, that's a great idea. And then every workout, try to get more time on the toes. Here we go. Set four for the rows. I got some sweat coming down now. It's not even hot in here. Just a good workout. Here we go. Keep pushing. Burn it up. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Good reps. Oh, it's on fire now. Oh, we're going to do chest press again. Oh, yeah. My back is on fire. We still got another set of rows, too. Here we go. Pushing up, coming down. Up, coming down. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Squeeze that chest right here, squeeze. There we go. Rows. After this, I think we might have a little bit of an extended break. I'm not sure. Might only be 20 seconds. Here we go. Coming up, squeeze, and down. Up, squeeze, and down. Oh, yeah. Come on. Push it out. If it begins to get too heavy, what you could do is always alternate left and right. There we go. Come on. We got a few reps left. Push it out. There we go. 20 seconds. And then the fun's going to begin. We got burpees. But hey, it's only 20 seconds worth of burpees. Nothing crazy. So, for the burpees, drop down, push up, come up, jump. So, down, up, get the jump. If you can't get the jump, right here, back down. If you can't do the push up, that's fine. Plank it, come back up. Come on. Here we go, step outs. You have to mop the floor when I'm done. Oh. So, pick a target and step it out. Just like that. Make sure to work those arms. Low impact, one foot at a time. No hopping. Here we go. 
Come on. Push it. Jumping jacks. Whew. Feet together, hands by the side. Here we go. Just like that. Low impact, you're right here. Remember, low impact does not mean low intensity. Here we go. Come on. I can speed it up. Come on. Push it out. Oh. Plank position. We got plank jacks right here. Here we go. Feet together. Hop feet apart. Together. Apart. Together. Low impact. You're just going to do one foot at a time here. Just like that. Come on. Stop seconds. Here we go. Reverse crunches. On our back. Hands up under the butt here. Head up. Feet out. Coming up. Back down. Up. Back down. We're going to try to go a little quicker. After all, this is supposed to be cardio. But I wanted to add some abs in. Try to get those hips off the ground like this, if you can. Exhale as you bring the knees up. Here we go. Skip hops. So we're just skipping in place. Full impact, you're just kind of marching out with that high knee. So right here, try to keep the heels off the ground like this. Full impact, you're right here. We're getting a high knee march. See that calf raise? We're still getting that calf raise. Just because we can't hop, don't mean we can't work the calves. There we go. We got hex squats coming up. We'll extend a break here. I'm going to try the 35s. Typically, they wouldn't be an issue. With my knee, we'll find out. I may have to drop. It is what it is. We'll see. So, feet about shoulder width apart, dumbbells by the side. Dropping down. That's all right. I hope. Feel a little bit. A little tender. There we go. Chest out, head up. Come on. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. We got RDLs here. So RDLs, slight bend in those knees, hinging at the hips, sinking the butt back. Dumbbells stay close. Here we go. Come on. Chest out, head up. Let's get one more. Here we go. Hex squats. Oh, yeah. Ah. Great first set. Here we go. Grab our dumbbells. So we're here. Dropping down. Oh, see the little tender. Oh, just kind of shifting my weight to the right a little bit. Here we go. Come on. Keep pushing. One more. All right, after this set. I'm gonna drop down a little bit. Knees feeling a little too tender. I don't wanna make it to the workout. RDLs. Here we go. Oh. 
Breathe. There we go. Stretch it out. Oh, yeah. Come on. There we go. Back into hex squats. Set three. Coming up. I'm going to drop down 25s. You don't have to drop. I hate dropping, but got to make it through the workout. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. No. Even if you have a knee issue, like I'm currently going through, even if you have to drop to body weight to be able to do it pain-free, but you're still making it through the workout, that's really the goal. We're not trying to get injured exercising. We're trying to prevent injury. So don't make an injury worse with your exercise either. RDLs, kind of know your limits. It's okay. You can always work out another day, right? <clears throat> so I'm only trying to go a little bit easier where I'm forced to. I'm not trying to make my whole workout easy because my knee is having problems. Here we go. Come on. Push it. Let's go. Stretch it out. Oh, yeah. One more. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Set four. Woo. Crushing these things. Nope, oh, doesn't want to slide. Here we go. So dropping down. Let's go. Come on. Chest out, head up. Don't forget to breathe. Try to drop down as low as you can. Getting your legs, upper legs, parallel with the ground. One more. Here we go. Party else. Good job. Way to push it. Come on, let's keep going. We got this. Coming down, back up. As you come down, feel those hamstrings. Oh yeah, come back. There we go. Oh, come on. One more. Here we go. Ah, final set right here. Let's go. Keep pushing. Dropping down, moving up. Let's go, come on. You got it. Keep pushing. Here we go. Let's get one more. RDLs. Last one, we're going back into cardio. Way to go. Way to push. Come on. Dropping down and up. Down and up. Here we go. Come on. Couple reps. One more. Woo, good job. All right, we got 20 seconds here. Going back into cardio, 90 degree squats. 
All right, so feet shoulder width apart, dropping down. When we come out, we're gonna twist. Here we go, dropping down, boom. Oh. Ah, there we go, low impact right here. Oh. 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 Come on. Oh. Oh. Ah, let's go. Come on, push it out. Here we go. Alternating reverse lunges. Oh, this one's going to be fun. So we're just going to kick that leg back, tap the ground here. So right here, drop, boom, boom, boom. We're kind of staying hinged right here. We're not standing up like this. So now we're trying to stay low, be a little quicker. Touch the toe. Don't cheat it. X hops. So feet about a little wider than shoulder width, hop together, hop again, apart. So bam, just like this. There we go. Low impact, in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Just like that. Still trying to go nice and quick here. There we go. Alternating lateral lunges. If this is a little too difficult, just do sumo squats. So feet nice and wide, dropping down, coming up, ah, down, coming up. That's like a half rep on the left side, but it's about the max I can do. So low impact, or if it's just too difficult, right here. If you're having knee issues like I am, right here is a good option. Here we go, depth squat, left side. If you can't do depth squats, then you're gonna do two rounds of body weight squats. So depth squat right here, coming up, back down. Explode, back down. If you can get the hop, try to get the hop. I cannot hop right now. So right here, if you can't do that, body weight squats, just like this. Here we go, depth squats, right side. This time, I'll show the hop. This one I can for sure hop on. <laughs> here we go. So coming up, boom, right here. Boom, blend nice and softly. We're not coming down and slamming that knee down, nope. Still, you don't have to hop, right here. Totally fine. Let's go, one more. Here we go, 30 seconds. We got bicep curls. Going into volume training again. We got some arms and shoulders action coming up. All right, so I'm gonna go with some 25s here. We're gonna have our palms facing out away from us. Right here, coming up. And down, up, and down. If it gets a little too heavy, drop the hands by the side, alternate left and right, just like that. Come on, push it. We're gonna alternate some buys and tries here. And we're gonna finish with shoulders. Overhead tricep extensions. So you can use one or two dumbbells here. I'm gonna use two, but if you're using one, just grab the end of it. Two, move them up on our shoulders right here, coming up, down, up, down. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. If it gets a little too tough, what you can do, rest them on your shoulders. Use those legs, power it up, slowly lower. Power it up, slowly lower. Here we go. Hammer curls. Here we go. I'm not gonna lie, my legs are tired. It's largely my right one, but here we go, come on. Hammers, 
the hands stay facing each other. There we go. Let me get my breathing back in sync. I had it reversed. Exhale as we curl up. Inhale as we bring it down. One more. All right, we're gonna do lying tricep extensions here. So we're gonna be on our back. Again, you can use one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna use two. So right here, start with hands here. So hands are gonna start vertical. We're gonna bring them right here. That's the max we wanna go to. Drop down, back up. We're not bringing them here. We're keeping them here. That way we can keep constant tension on the triceps. There we go. Couple seconds, come on. There we go. All right, concentration curls. Left side. I'm gonna go up to 35s. Test this out. Just need one dumbbell. Here we go. Right here. Coming up and down. Up and down. So you can do it like this, just kind of that free hang or on a knee right here as well. If you have a bench, you can sit on a bench. Oh yeah. Come on. Push it out. Concentration curl, right side. Remember, it's not supposed to be easy. You're supposed to struggle. Right side. Again, you can do it from the free hang right here, like this. Or if you want, you can do that drop down right here. Back of the arm goes up against the inner thigh, kind of braces. So that way you can't really cheat. Come up, squeeze. Up, squeeze. One more. Close grip push ups or cobras right here. So, close grip hands are going to be right up against the chest right here. So, hands closer together, elbows by the side, just like this. Keeping the elbows in. Don't let them flare. Cobras, right here. Try to keep the hips on the ground. Just like that, you need to kind of bring the hands a little lower. If I was more flexible, I would probably be able to keep my hips on the ground. But see, I'm not flexible. So, can't really do that. <laughs> Great. We got shoulder press. A couple left before we go in to our cool down. Yeah, we got a cool down today. Bring them up. Right here, pressing up. Come down. Up. Come down. Here we go. If these start to get a little heavy, what you can do is kind of bring them in a little bit like this. Use those legs again. Explode. Slowly lower. Explode up. Slowly lower. There we go. A couple reps. Oh, let's get two more. Oh, one more. There we go. We got lateral raises. I'm going to drop to 15s. You might need to drop to fives, or eights, tens, something like that, nice and light. Here we go. So slide them in the elbows coming out, back down. You can have them by your side right here keeping the dumbbell kind of in line with the body, not coming out. This is gonna be your hardest method to do it. If you want, kind of bring them in front of you, lean forward a little bit, bring them out just a little bit. I feel like that makes it just a little bit easier. Then as always, you can alternate left and right. 
We're gonna do alternating front raises. Using that same weight. Slight bend in the elbows. We're coming straight out. Here we go. I personally like to have my palm facing sideways right here versus like this. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, push it out. Oh, oh, let's go. Come on. One more. Ah, here we go. 15 seconds. Get some water. Woo. We got to cool down. We're going to hip flexor stretch left side. Great workout. So, right leg out. Drop the knee. We're going to try to sink our hips to that front heel right here. Make sure. Squeeze that left glute and then push forwards. You notice the stretch right here happens a lot sooner. Good workout. So I'm currently at like 36 minutes and 143 heart rate right now. 553 total calories, 478 active calories. Switching sides here, hip flexor right side. Squeeze that right glute first and then sing forwards. Breathe. I feel like I was breathing harder than usual today because for some reason, right at the beginning of the workout, my nose just got stuffed up. I could not breathe through it. I was total mouth breather the entire workout. Not that I breathe through my nostrils a whole lot, but usually a little, a little more than that. It was nothing. Right, we're going to 90 90 stretch left side to so left leg is out in front here in that 90. Right leg is in the back at a 90. Here we go. What we're going to do here is lean forwards. There we go. Trying to lean forward onto it. Let me turn a little bit so you can see a little better right here. Trying to lean forward. There we go. A little exercise I like to do right here. We've had it in our stability. Workouts, I believe, right here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Do like 10 reps, switching sides like that. Strengthen up that piriformis. Here we go. Right side. Ooh. Stretch it out. Feel it loosen up here. Try to keep the back a little straighter. I mean, I can bend pretty far right here, but that's just in my lower back. That's not at the actual muscle. I don't feel it in my glute and hip like I should. You should be kind of feeling this right through your glute and then kind of on the hip, outside a little bit back of the hip. There we go. We're going to go into hurdler stretch left side. So left leg is going to be out. Right leg is going to come back right here, just like this. And then we're going to try to lean forward. I got to keep working on my flexibility. Whew, that's stiff. <sighs> Definitely going to start coming out with more stability, mobility, and flexibility routines. It's going to help us prevent injury. <sighs> Here we go. <sighs> Switching sides. We'll see how my left leg bends right here. Oof. Oof. Mm. Might have to leave it out a little bit like that. Oof. That knee can't fully bend like that after I've had two knee surgeries. I need a third, but they're just meniscus surgeries. And so they just keep taking slivers of that. What is it? Medial meniscus, the inside meniscus. They just don't help, but now my biceps femoris tendon right here has been killing me lately. I think it's from like a lot of instability in my knee. <laughs> we go butterflies. And so it gets tender for a little bit, kind of go easy on it for a month or so. It'll be fine. And then something random will happen. It'll 
it's kind of re-injure. So oh, yeah, I keep working on it. We're going into butterflies right here. Oh, so I'm kind of using my hands to pull my feet in and then I'm actively trying to push my knees because if I just let my knees relax, they're gonna be way up here. So I'm trying to push them down right now. Oh. There we go. Oh. All right, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna go into a middle split stretch right here. And then we're just gonna try to hold this, get our feet nice and wide. I like to try to kind of push my hips out that's where you really feel the stretch at oh, there we go oh, my right glute knee, glute knee just cramped up a little oh, <laughs> oh i worked through that come on now there we go starting to loosen up a oh, couple seconds there we go we are finished. Way to go today. What a workout. Some great cardio. Got some good pumps going on. Some volume training. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Also, be sure check out the dumbbells at strengthdepot.com. And if you're not part of our Facebook group, go join it. It's the Achieve Peak community on Facebook. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Later.